Hey there guys and gals, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you are all doing well. Today for this episode, I am reviewing a very inexpensive, very budget-friendly backpack that has a ton of great features. This is the Teton Sports Scout 3400, 360 time. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. Now folks, here is the Scout 3400 pack. And I have to say that this is a nice looking pack. As you can see, this is the orange color. It is also available in green, which also looks really good. This is 3,400 cubic inches, which is 55 liters. It comes in at four and a half pounds, so it's a little bit heavy. And it features a lifetime warranty. When it comes to the materials, this is made from a 600D ripstop nylon, an Oxford material. All right, folks, let's take a look at this pack here before it starts raining. We'll start right here at the very top. You have a drag handle. As you can see, you have some shock cords, so you can attach maybe a sweater, something like that. You do have a zippered pocket here in the lid, which offers you a very good amount of space. Going down, Teton Sports. Two buckles to hold the lid down. On the inside of the lid, you have a zippered pocket for the inside. And again, that offers a lot of space. The lid is attached to the backpack, so this is not a floating lid, meaning that it's always attached, it doesn't raise up and down. Going down, you have two pulls to cinch up your load. But before we go to the inside, let's go to the front here. You have more shock cord. You also have a pull, so you can tighten that up if you need to. You have a mesh pocket here for gear that's going to dry and so on. Maybe some snacks, whatever you want to put in there. It is secured with a piece of Velcro. With this pack, you do have trekking pole ice axe loops, fully adjustable. You do have compression straps down here at the sleeping bag compartment. And yes, you do have a sleeping bag compartment. You have a zipper, which gives you access to that. And we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. Flipping the pack over to its side. You have some expandable loopage up here, so you can attach other gear if you want to. Maybe a GPS, whatever you want. You have a zippered pocket, which is fairly good size. You wouldn't be able to fit a large Nalgene bottle in this, but plenty of gear for sure. You have another stretchy loop down here, and you have a mesh expandable water bottle pocket down at the bottom. You have those features on both sides. You have the two loops, you have the zippered pocket, and you have the expandable water bottle pocket down at the bottom. Now flipping the pack over so you can see its bottom. As I mentioned, you have the two loops for trekking poles and so on. Right here at the very bottom, you have another zipper, and this gives you access to the pack cover, which is included with this pack. Now this is the orange pack, so the pack cover is orange. That is an extremely nice feature, which is included. Flipping the pack over, let's take a look at the suspension system. You do have load lifters. Yes, very nice, very, very nice. You have plenty of webbing here on the front so you can attach different pieces of kit and so on. You have two plastic D-rings. You have two clips here for hydration hoses. Fully adjustable sternum straps. Very nicely padded, very thick, very comfortable. Going down, you have this nice lumbar support. Very, very padded. Padded waist belt as well. Buckle. Strap keepers on both sides. It can also be adjusted down here at the waist belt so you can pull the pack nice and close to your hips. Now, as you can see here, this is a fully adjustable pack. So this could be scaled to fit your body and to fit different torso lengths. Pull it down like that, then you can pull it up and make any of the adjustments that you need to. This could be scaled to fit torsos from 15 inches all the way up to 19 and a half. Right here behind the harness, you do have access for a hydration tube if you run a hydration bladder inside of this backpack. Now let's take a look at the sleeping bag compartments. As you can see here, it's very good size and it can hold many different sizes of sleeping bag. Very good size compartment. It does have a divider, which you can use to partition this pack. You can unzip that if you want to, or you can just leave it like I have here. In other words, folks, you can have your sleeping bag in this compartment. You can have that zippered up, that partition, 
and that's a shelf so you can base all of your gear on top of that. Or you can unzip it and just have all of your gear together. With the sleeping bag compartment, this is stretchy somewhat. So this can expand to fit larger sleeping bags. All right, let's go to the internals of this pack. So as you can see here, you do have the expandable top for your different size loads. Now on the inside of the pack, this is hydration compatible. Right here, you have a piece of Velcro to support your hydration bladder. You also have a port. Down below that, you do have a hydration sleeve. And other than that, you just have a large size pocket. Now, when it comes to cost for the Scout 3400, this pack runs between $60 and $80, depending on where you look. Different websites will have different prices. I've seen this pack right here for as low as $60, and the green one as well. And I have to say that I really do like the color of the green one. I don't believe at the time when I purchased this pack, the green one was available. Speaking of which, I have had this pack for guess how many years? Ah, six years. I've had this pack for six years, guys and it's a terrific performer. It really is. I paid $55 for this pack and it really has treated me well. Now, of course, I am gentle on my gear, but this pack has seen many hundreds of miles of backpacking, wintertime use, summertime use, all that good stuff. I'm really impressed with the amount of features that this pack has because it really doesn't cut any corners. Yes, it is a little bit heavy, and that would be my one con to this pack. Now, I didn't mention it, but this pack is an internal frame pack, and you do have two aluminum stays right here. They can be pulled out and adjusted if you need to, but for most people, you will not need to make any adjustments. Speaking of the padding here, absolutely comfortable. It really is. About the heaviest load that I've carried in this pack is right at 30 pounds, and it carried that just fine. So for lighter loads, 30 pounds, Awesome, heavier than that, more than likely it's gonna be fine as well because like I said, it's very nicely padded, very thick. You have nice padding here for the lumbar support. And also since it's raised here at the shoulders and raised here at the lumbar, you have a recess in the middle. So yes, you are going to sweat, but it's going to evaporate at the same time. Another thing that I really like about this pack is that with these pockets, no matter how full you get the inside of this pack, the size of these pockets stay the exact same. So that's just really, really well thought out. It's a, it really is a great design because I have mini packs. When you stuff the inside, the pockets on the outside get stretched and will be very, very tight. Not with this pack. The mesh here on the front is a terrific idea. It's always a good idea to have mesh on your backpack so you can have items and gear and whatever for quick access and also for drying. I like the shock cord because I am a fan of just taking off my sweater, sticking on the outside, and then as soon as I start getting cold again, I take it off, put it back on. Typically when you have a pack that's this inexpensive, they tend to cut a lot of corners, not with this pack. Load lifters. You have the hip pulls down here so you can pull that pack really close to your hips. I mean, it's just incredibly well thought out, especially for the price. So as I mentioned, I have had this pack for six years and it continues to perform very, very well for me. My brother, he purchased this pack, the same model, the green one, roughly three years ago. And he has used it, taken it all over the country, loves it as well. My brother, he is extremely budget focused and this was the perfect pack for him. And the truth is, this is a perfect pack for a lot of people, for people on a budget. This is an incredible option to consider. For those who are just testing the waters into backpacking, maybe some camping, you want to start slow, you want to start with some you know, lesser expensive gear, this is a great option to consider as well. Also, one last thing, this pack does come with a rain cover and I think that is absolutely incredible for this price. A lot of packs would not come with a rain cover. So this pack really does have all the bells and whistles, it has all the features, all the ways to adjust it. Like I said, it's very comfortable, it feels good, it does handle well as well. Also, it is adjustable for different torso lengths. Absolutely awesome. So folks, this has been my review of the Teton Sports Scout 3400 backpack. It is definitely a winner. For all things involving the outdoors, stay here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Until next time, strength and honor. <laughs> Just got out of the rain in the nick of time, here it is. Oh man, let it rain, let it rain. Let it cool everything off too. <laughs>